Welcome to another one of my videos. So obviously you guys are in need to install Acre for Arma 3, whether it be via Realism Group or just because some server you want to play on requires it. I'm going to show you how to install it and it's very easy guys. So it's, uh, it's a little bit of a process, but if you just stick with me, it's, you'll, you'll get it. Now all you need to do is, depending on the link location that you have downloaded Acre, Either way, you're going to have a folder that looks like this, similar to it, and it's going to consist of all the files that are in it. Once you have downloaded your Acre using WinRAR or some kind of zip file um, opener, this is what essentially it's going to look like for the most part. So what you want to do is go ahead and open it up once you have installed, or sorry, once you have downloaded Acre. And as you can see, we have TeamSpeak 3 and Arma 3. I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can as well obtain this. Um, I'm using the Arma 2 version that's been converted for Arma 3 because it's been shown to not have as many bugs. So I'll put that in the description below and you guys can use that if you would like or you can just go off Armaholic and download theirs. Either way it works. So now we have TeamSpeak 3 and Arma 3. It breaks it down for you. All you need to do is let's do, start on Arma 3 first. All right. So we have all the files. These need to go into your Arma 3 directory. Now, if you're not sure where to find that, I have a shortcut desktop right here that will link it to my files, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to show you guys as if you don't even have that. All you would do is you'd open up your Steam, go to your Games section, View Games Library. Open that up. As you can see, Arma 3 right here. And then you want to go ahead and go down to the bottom where it says Properties. Open that up, and then go to your Local Files location and then browse local files and this will take you directly into your Arma 3 directory this is what is considered your Arma 3 directory obviously these are where all your mods and everything go if you've seen in my other videos I show you how to install mods so this is considered your Arma 3 directory remember that it's very important when installing mods and anything else so now that we're in our Arma 3 directory let's go ahead and close all this stuff out we want to drag and drop a JArma 2 lib and acre over into our Arma 3 directory. Now, as you can see, I already have my Acre and I already have um, JArma 2 lib in there. So, just all you need to do is drag and drop it over there. Okay. Now, once you have done that, open up your Acre folder. Oops, sorry. Open up the Acre folder that you have uh, opened. And you're going to see under plugins, sorry, under your Acre folder plugins folder you're going to see a Win32 and a Win64. This is important, you guys know this. You need to find out if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. Um, if you're not sure, just go into the control panel and under System uh, and Security, you'll see it in there. It tells you whether or not you have a Windows 64 or Windows 32. You need to install the one that fits your computer. So I have a Win64, so what I want to do is I want to cut and once you have cut it, you're going to copy it into your, oops, there we go. You're going to cut and copy it into your TeamSpeak 3 area. Now, if you're not sure how to get to that, just right click on your desktop shortcut, open file location, or just go to where you installed it. And in here, you're going to see a bunch of folders. You want to click on the one that says plugins, not plugins, DK, but plugins. Open that up, and in here is where you would paste your Acre Win32 or 64 file. Just right click and then paste. And it's going to put it right in there. That's good. So we got the TeamSpeak part done. Once you have your TeamSpeak set up and that installed, we'll jump into the TeamSpeak. Just go ahead and open it up. You want to go to your settings, plugins. And in there is where you would enable it. Just go ahead and left click on it close restart your team speak or just shut it down for right now so we can finish the rest now once you have your team speak and set up so that's good so now we want to set up our um, acre in so the game understands now once you have your folder you're going to notice that they're under your arma 3 folder that it has a user config and a keys folder what you want to do is you want to install the keys folder you can just drag and drop that into your jarma 2 lib 
that's all I did, and it works fine. So if somebody tells you otherwise, say they're lying, because I use it, and my anchor works great. So just drag and drop that into your Jammer 2 lib, and then that's that. Now your keys, that's, sorry, that's not what I'm referencing to. Your keys go into Jammer 2 lib. User config now, this will go into your Arma 3 directory. So you'll see it in here, user config. And if you don't have it, don't worry. Just go ahead and right click and make a new folder right there and just call it user config. Very easy. All you would do now is you would drag and drop everything that's in your user config folder uh, for your download. Drag and drop your acre into your user config. And that's just going to consist of your config files. So, and that's that. Um, very easy. So let's go back now. Make sure we got everything. Okay, we got our acre. We got our JRM2 lib. And that's it. The game's now going to understand that, okay, this is a mod and I need to run it. So, as you can see, we got our user config, we got our JRM2 lib, and we got our Arma or, and our acre set up. So, last thing you're going to need to do is start your game up. Run it as admin. You want to make sure you run your game as admin. And if you're not sure, go ahead and shut down your Steam and everything. Right click on your Steam app and hit run as administrator. And there you go. You're running your game as admin. Now, lastly, you can shut down everything. You need to run your TeamSpeak as admin. It's going to say yes. And nothing's going to look differently. Everything's going to be the same. And then just double check in your plugins folder under settings and make sure your Acre plugin's enabled. And hit close and then go into your preferred channel uh, or whoever you play with and then that's that start your game up once your game is going at the main menu go ahead and go to your options and expansions where you would normally enable your regular mods and stuff like that and then enable your acre and your jamma 2 lib folder in there and restart your game and there you go you have acre running um, I hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat brief tutorial. I hope it helps. Uh, I'll make a new video on how to use Acre if you guys would like. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.